Software development and release may be a challenging process especially when teams, applications and distribution infrastructure get more sophisticated. Challenges frequently worsen as projects expand. Developers and organizations have developed three interrelated but independent ways to organize and automate the processes of software development, testing and delivery in order to do it quickly and consistently, that is CICD. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPath where we are going to look into what a DevOps CI CD pipeline is. But before getting started, here is the agenda of this video. What is CI CD? Then we talk about what is the CI CD pipeline. Then, what are the reasons to use the CI CD pipeline? And how does CI CD relate to DevOps? And how does CI CD pipeline work? Then we are going to look into continuous development versus continuous deployment. Then we are going to look into the phases of CI CD pipeline. And when is CI CD pipeline not feasible? Then, CI-CD tools and plugins. Then we're going to talk about CI-CD pipeline KPIs. And with that, we'll conclude. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from us. So let us begin by understanding what CI-CD is. A DevOps methodology's foundation is CI-CD, which unites teams from IT operations and development to deploy software. The speed at which code can be published has evolved into a competitive differentiator as custom applications become essential to how businesses differentiate themselves. Continuous integration and continuous delivery are also known as CI-CD. They are methods for more quickly and precisely fusing the labor of various individuals into a single cohesive result. By providing teams with a single repository to store their work in and automation tools to constantly combine and test the code to assure its functionality, CI-CD optimizes application development and operations by streamlining application coding, testing and deployment. What is the CI-CD pipeline? The CI-CD pipeline is an agile DevOps workflow with the goal of delivering software on a regular basis with high reliability. DevOps teams may build code, integrate it, run tests and deliver releases and distribute changes to the software collaboratively and in real time thanks to the iterative as opposed to linear process. The use of automation to guarantee code quality is an important component of the CI-CD workflow. Test automation is used to deploy code changes to various environments, deliver applications to production environments and uncover dependencies and other issues earlier as the software changes move through the pipeline. The automation's task in this situation is to perform quality control, evaluating factors like performance, API usage and security. This guarantees that the changes made by every team member are thoroughly incorporated and work as intended. Let us look at some reasons to use a CI-CD pipeline. A key advantage of the CI-CD pipeline is the automation of software releases from the first testing to the final deployment. The following are additional advantages of the CI-CD method for development teams. Automating the deployment process. The length of the software delivery process is shortened by the more effective use of automated testing in the development phase. Lowering the costs involved in creating traditional software. Automation speeds up development, testing and production which reduces cost because less time is spent on development. Continual feedback for progress. A continuous cycle of build, test and deployment is the CI-CD pipeline. Developers can swiftly act on feedback after each test of their code to make it better. Enhancing the ability to address error detection early in the development process. Every time a new version of the code is developed in continuous integration, testing is automated to look for integration problems. The earlier in the pipeline that these problems develop, the easier they are to correct. Lastly, boosting system integration and teamwork. Everyone on the team has the ability to modify code, react to criticism and solve problems as they arise. Now how does CI-CD relate to DevOps? CI-CD is a crucial component of DevOps and any contemporary software development methodology. By boosting an organization's output, efficiency and optimizing workflows through integrated automation, testing and collaboration, 
a purpose built ci cd platform may maximize development time the ci cd features can aid in reducing the complexity of application development as they get bigger other devops approaches can be used to assist eliminate development silos scale securely and maximize the benefits of ci cd these strategies include shifting left on security and establishing tighter feedback loops so how does the ci cd pipeline work so the ci in ci cd stands for continuous integration what is continuous integration with continuous integration the ci cd process gets started ci enables developers to work independently by establishing a separate coding branch to apply minor adjustments a versioning technology like git often allows developers to take snapshots of the source code as they work the developer is free to work on the brand new features in the event that an issue arises git may quickly roll back to the code base to its prior state an automated method that employs scripts to build and test code modifications is then pushed with the work done by individuals a ci server merges the source code modifications into the master code often known as trunk following the build stage continuous testing provides quicker issue solutions guarantees functioning and ultimately improves teamwork and product quality what is continuous delivery continuous delivery follows the process in the pipeline and distributes the verified code changes performed in continuous integration across a few environments or code repositories like github here the operations group can send them into a real time production setting an automated procedure is used to test the program and apis to fix any issues the devops team receives a message about the most recent build during the last stage of the cd process and they manually transmit it to the deploy stage the continuous delivery pipeline stage's objective is to distribute new code quickly while yet allowing for some human monitoring and lastly what is continuous deployment continuous deployment is also known as cd in the ci cd process after passing a sequence of predefined tests such as integration tests that examine code in a mimic environment to validate code integrity and continuous deployment automatically distributes code changes to end users now let us compare continuous development and continuous deployment to understand them better the degree of automation employed in software or app releases is where continuous delivery and continuous deployment diverge in continuous delivery code is automatically moved to environments that are similar to production environments for additional testing and quality assurance and after successful tests human interaction is needed to send the code into production automation goes a step farther in continuous deployment when the code passes testing it is automatically deployed to the production environment where no human permission is required teams may release new or updated software frequently and as rapidly as feasible thanks to continuous deployment this form of continuous deployment pipeline is often used by devops teams who have a proven procedure because modifications are automatically deployed to the public continuous delivery is often the best choice for teams who may not need to deploy changes as frequently in their workflow such as those developing healthcare applications although slower it adds a second level of control to guarantee end users operation phases of the ci cd pipeline the ci cd pipeline's development cycle and workflow are comprised of these phases which run from source code to production firstly build the construction and compilation of code takes place during this stage of the continuous integration process teams integrate new code and work together to build off source code while swiftly resolving any disagreements or concerns next test teams test the code at this point both deployment and continuous delivery involve automated testing regression tests unit tests and integration tests are a few examples of these then we have deliver here a production environment receives a code base that has been accepted in continuous deployment this stage is automated whereas in continuous delivery automation only happens after developer consent 
finally we have deploy the final step is deployment after which the finished product enters production in continuous delivery goods or code are sent into repositories before being approved by people for deployment or production this stage in continuous deployment is automated so when is ci cd not feasible continuous change may not be appreciated by everyone the user is unaware of many changes that take place during ci cd such as those that affect back end databases or business processes a microservices environment has a cascading effect when changes are made one single change made with ci cd in a microservices context can affect numerous different interactions although a change might be successful for the intended microservices operation it might have negative effects on other service chains continuous change necessitates ongoing observation by reporting by their very nature ci cd changes have an effect on the platform to which they are applied in order to comprehend and swiftly resolve any issues real time monitoring and reporting are required then resource allocation must be flexible developers and testers might not foresee any resource and performance hits of a ci cd modification unless it's rolled out without extensive testing beforehand then let us look at few of the ci cd tools and plugins a marketplace of plugins is often supported by ci cd technologies the development team must make sure that all environment variables are configured outside of the application after it has chosen a ci cd tool some of the popular ci cd tools include jenkins one of the top continuous delivery and continuous integration tools available is jenkins an open source ci automation server jenkins the top open source automation server offers thousands of plugins to help with creating and automating any project once a project has been tested Jenkins also offers CD code deployment. Next, GitLab. GitLab is an open source web-based Git repository manager with wiki, issue tracking and CI/CD pipeline capabilities. Then we have JetBrains TeamCity. An integration and management server for CI/CD is JetBrains TeamCity. Before committing changes to a code base, developers can test their code using TeamCity. In addition to other programs, TeamCity has support for Docker and Jira. Bamboo, a CI technology that is on-premises and connected with Bitbucket that unifies automated builds, tests, and releases into a single workflow. Lastly, CodeFresh. CodeFresh is a simple-to-use tool for launching built-in Docker images into a hosted environment and for easing the transition of a project to Docker containers. Let us look at CI CD pipeline KPIs. Cycle or deployment time. The time it takes to move from the build cycle to production is known as the cycle or development time. By measuring the stages of the development process, you may determine the average life cycle time. This indicator will shed light on any process bottlenecks as well as the overall pace of the development. Then, development frequency. Using development frequency you can examine any bottlenecks discovered during automation the frequency of smaller releases lowers the possibility of flaws and allows for their quick correction this metric provides an overall assessment of your team's effectiveness next change lead time it gauges how long it takes from the beginning of the development phase to deployment this metric serves as a gauge for the team's efficiency throughout the development process change failure rate It focuses on the ratio of successful to unsuccessful development attempts. Lastly, MTTR versus MTTF. The difference is the amount of time your team needs to recover after failing. The amount of time between fixes and outages is measured by MTTF, which stands for mean time to failure. These indicators show how quickly and effectively the team can respond to problems and resolve them. Businesses that often improve applications and need a dependable delivery procedure typically develop a CI/CD pipeline. When the CI/CD pipeline is in place, the team can concentrate more on improving the applications rather than on the specifics of developing them 
and delivering them to different environments. Getting started with CI/CD requires DevOps teams to collaborate on technologies, practices, and priorities. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.